The Chinese traditionally believe in the unity of heaven and human beings. Lao Tzu said, Man follows the earth, the earth follows heaven, heaven follows the Tao, and the Tao follows what is natural. Human beings and nature exist within a harmonious relationship in the continuous cosmos. The Communist Party does not believe in God, nor does it even respect physical nature. The notorious saying of the CCP was, Battle with heaven, fight with the earth, struggle with humans, therein lies endless joy. In this context, the so-called elimination of private ownership turned out to be looting and plundering everyone's properties, while the so-called public ownership became the communist oligopoly's ownership. Religious beliefs are forcibly cracked down upon and absolutely prohibited, and in the meantime, humanity and human rights are suppressed and trampled. Religious beliefs were replaced with belief in communism's promise of a harmonious society and its rule by the deified Communist Party. The promise of a harmonious society was entirely fabricated to deceive the people. Communism transformed from a false theory into an evil practice, and the Communist Party that implemented the practice thus became an evil specter that opposes mankind, earth, heaven, nature, and the cosmos. In China, nobody has ever seen fiscal budgets for the CCP's organizations, only fiscal budgets for the state, local governments, and enterprises. But in the people's daily learning, work, family lives, social activities, and almost all information sources, the CCP actually extends everywhere and controls everything. From the central government to the village committees in rural areas, the municipal officials are always ranked lower than the communist cadres. So, municipal governments have to follow instructions from the communist party committees at the same level. The expenses of the party are paid by the administrative units, yet they are not budgeted separately. The organization of the CCP, like a giant evil-possessing spirit, attaches to every single unit and cell of the Chinese society, as tightly as a shadow following an object. It penetrates deeply into every capillary and cell of society, with its finest blood-sucking vessels, and thereby controls and manipulates society. For this reason, Chinese farmers live in such poverty and drudgery. They not only have to support their traditional administrative officials, but also as many or even more communist cadres. For this reason, Chinese workers lost their employment in vast numbers. The omnipresent, blood-sucking vessels of the possessing CCP have been extracting funds from their factories for many years. For this reason, Chinese intellectuals find it so difficult to gain intellectual freedom. In addition to their administrators, there are CCP shadows lingering everywhere, doing nothing but monitoring them.